In just the last hour, the National Transportation Safety Board giving an update on the investigation into the deadly church bus crash outside of Garner State Park. 13 seniors returning from a church retreat in Lakey died in the head on collision on Wednesday. As Josh Skernick is live in Uvalde for that press conference. Josh, what did we learn during this conference today? Well, the NTSB investigator says a group from Washington, D.C. will be at the crash site for about a week, not only looking into what happened, but why and how it can be prevented in the future. Now, as to whether alcohol was involved, the status of the young driver's driver's license, and even if distracted driving was a part of all this, they say they're looking into it, but most of the findings on that front will come from local law enforcement. Arguably, the most important new information to come from today is on the use of seatbelts in that church bus. So the, the driver as well as his front seat passenger had standard three-point seat belts. The rear occupants had lap only belts. At this time, preliminarily, we believe that most, if not all, of the passengers on the bus were wearing their seat belts at the time of the crash. He's in a white Dodge Dually. He's all over the road, both sides. Somebody needs to stop this guy. We're, almost, we're getting close to Con Can. Now, what you just heard is audio obtained by the defenders of a call to Real County Sheriff Dispatch made by Jody Kuchler. He's a local there in Lakey. Now, he was one mile from Concan, and he saw the white Dodge pickup police say was driven by 20-year-old Jack Young, also of Lakey, who was traveling north on US-83. Kuchler said in the call the truck was drifting into the southbound lane and even warned it was going to hit someone head on. Kuchler was there when it actually happened. Here are the tense moments. This is Jody Kuchler. I'm the one that called in a while ago. I got this guy on video hitting this bus head on. Y'all got to be a life flight. I hope they already called life flight. This bus is full of elderly people. That was just one of the calls local law enforcement got about that truck. The NTSB also says that they are aware of a video Kuchler has of the moments just before the crash and says that will also factor into their investigation into how this tragedy happened. Reporting live from Uvalde, Josh Gernick, KSAT 12 News.